So, the day has come. It's been quite an emotional day today, actually. My very last weekday show on Hart Wiltshire, where I have been for over eight years now. And there's nobody in the office at all. <laughs> I was expecting that because everyone's either left already um, or they are generally out. Um, yeah, this this was a once a very busy office full of new staff, sales staff, programming staff, management. Um, and it's just slowly but surely disappeared. Um, and soon there will be nobody here. This building will be shut and locked up for good. And it will all be in Bristol. So, you know, that is what happens in this day and age. You've got news of Debenhams closing down stores and you've had Woolworths close years ago and HMV. Things, you know, things evolve. That's just the way life goes. So there's no point in being bitter about it, which I'm not. Um, it's just a bit of a sad day, really, because... I've been in commercial, my job has, has been in commercial radio for 21 years now, and I'm about to leave the commercial sector for good, which I'm excited about because I'm going to the BBC, and I'm going back to Oxfordshire, back to BBC Oxford, where I actually started my ever, my first ever obsession with radio was in 1997 at BBC Radio Oxford when I was 17. So it's weird, really because it's done a complete full circle. That's where I started, that's where I did work experience while I was still at college. And then I got into commercial radio at um, a radio station called Fox FM. And then it turned to heart and I came here. And now I've gone full circle back to BBC Oxford, which is, you know, it's a senior broadcast journalist presenter's job. I'll be doing the same show as I do here, 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. Completely different to what I do now, which I'm really excited about, really looking forward to. But it doesn't come with its sadness of having to leave what I've known for the last 21 years behind. And all the people as well, of course. I had to do that once to come here from Oxford when it was Hart Oxford. And I moved to Hart Wiltshire. And now slowly but surely everyone's left here. And I am leaving here today. Um, and I've only seen like two people. Which is, as I said, it's expected. It's, it's what happens. <laughs> oh. Whoops. It's what it's all about, you know. Um, life is about changes, I suppose. Nothing ever stays the same. But, you know, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And I'm a firm believer that a, a change is a good thing. Um, like I said, I'm really excited about working for the BBC. I mean, starting in radio back in 1997, it's like the dream to work for the BBC. And I never have. So it's kind of ticking one of those things off my bucket list. Um, I've always wanted a, a BBC email address, so adam.ball at bbc.co.uk, kind of cool. So I had a really nice lunch with my boss of eight years today, um, got a few presents, a really nice card which was signed by... Oh, this damn phone falling off. A really nice card that was signed by everybody, um, so thank you if you're watching and you signed it. There were some funny comments in there. Um, and the studio was, well, I'll show you, breakfast show here. Bit of a, bit of some jokers in this show. And they decided, as you can see, you know, this is what it's been like today and for the last couple of months. But the breakfast show, they're, they're jokers. And they decided to fill the studio with me. Oh, look, there's me. There's me. There's me. Oh, there's me. There's me. There's me. Well, that made me laugh on my last day here anyway. I'm technically back one day next week, on next Saturday. I'm doing my very, very last show next Saturday, but this is my last weekday show. So, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that little emotional message, really. It's a sad day, but at the same time, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, these are the things that we have to grab um, and take. I feel almost like I was meant to have this move from commercial radio into the BBC. It was everything just happened at the right time and it was meant to happen. The time that I was started thinking I'm going to need a new job soon because of big changes. 
I looked, found that, went for it, didn't think I'd get it, next day got the job. Like, it's like our lives are all panned out for us already. And although we have options and we have roads that we can choose to go down, to, to alter it slightly, the main journey is already laid out for us. That's, that's what I believe as well. I mean, whether that's true or not, it will never ever be able to be proven with it. So, yeah, it's one of those sad days with an optimistic slant at the end. So if you've listened to me on Hart Oxfordshire, Thames Valley, Hart Wiltshire, if you've interacted with me on Facebook or Twitter, you can still keep doing that, of course. But I just wanted to say thank you and watch this space for more exciting times. (laughs) 